beautiful, majestic sunset. Clouds, sun just kind of peeking through. What a beautiful sight on a Thursday evening. And how quickly it changes. We're looking at a couple minutes later. This is ridiculous. Welcome everybody, and like I said, it's Thursday. Great day. The week is almost over. Um, I'd like to, we're going to go on a little trip today after my 12 hour day. We're going to head up north of Greenville a few miles to check something out. You know, every town, um, city, pretty much has a little festival of their own. Whether it be like Arcanum's Old Fashioned Days, um, for sales is Poultry Days, which we didn't get to. Um, it's a strawberry Festival in Troy, Tip City has the Mum Festival, and so on and so on. Almost every town. Our town has two. And they both happen to be on the same weekend. And then you may find yourself asking, Daniel, how in the heck, or why in the heck, does your town have two festivals on the same weekend? That is a good question. And the simple fact is, we used to not. It used to be one festival. And we had the Annie Oakley Festival. Now we have two. We have the Annie Oakley Festival and we have the Gathering at Garst. They decided to break up. But today we'll get into the Garst a little bit later because that's not far from my house and we'll actually spend some time down there. But today we're going to talk about Annie Oakley Festival. And you may say, hey Daniel, um, who's Annie Oakley? Yes, that Annie Oakley. Um, Little Miss Sure Shot. We're here at the, what is it? Brock Cemetery. This little Adam and Wu style checking out um, cemeteries. Um, I don't, I've never been out here. And I think I see the gravesite. It's over there. Um, Little Miss Sure Shot. She was a well, world renowned sharpshooter at the age of 15. I believe she beat somebody that was the greatest, I forget what his name, Butler, I think was his last name. And then she ended up marrying him like a year later after she beat him in Cincinnati. Now, they said she was 15, and I've seen other reports where it says. She's it was six years after that, but that's the story. And like I said, I was on the right track. I did find it. It's right over here. Um, got a historical marker. All right, here we go. Annie Oakley at rest, which they say that she's not actually buried here. She's buried with her husband, Frank. Butler is who she beat in that shot shooting contest that she ended up marrying but they say she is her uh, ashes are in there now Annie um, was born six miles north east of here which you know it's close enough to Greenville we we stay claim to that in a town that was called Woodland it was later renamed Willow Dell. Now this sign, historical marker here, does say that she was born in 1860 and she engaged in a shooting wild game to feed the Mosey family after her father passed. And then a child prodigy shooter shot match after match until she won a life-changing match in 1881 so that puts her at 21 so actually the 15 according to this is not legit and she ended up marrying Frank in 1882 um, so that puts that to rest because this is the official historical marker um, she chose Annie Oakley as a professional name and went on to dazzle audiences in the Midwest 
with her phenomenal accuracy. Um, that's definitely uh, the, at this, that time she was nicknamed uh, Little Sure Shot. After she joined uh, Buffalo Bill's Wild West show in, in 1885. She became the star who thrilled audiences, including royalty and nobility across England and Europe. Retiring from the Wild West in 1901, Annie shot mostly for fun and, and charity events, donating funds to orphanages and disadvantaged widows. In her ill health for several months, Annie died in Greenville at age of 66. It's not a very long life. Um, if you ever remember, well, I guess back then, 66 was probably long. But back, I guess in the, what was it, the 30s, there was a musical, Annie Grab Your Gun, was based off of her. There was a, a TV show, I forget, what did it say, the 50s? based on her. I think it was called Annie Oakley. I'd like to watch that someday because, you know, due to the fact that it is our local celebrity, it would probably be interesting to watch, even though, you know, obviously she wasn't in it. But it's based loosely on her life, or it is, you know. So that would be cool to watch. And there's some really cool old, old grave markers here. Look at this one. This is very cool. Yeah, let's get a better view. Right there. That's neat. Alright, so let me correct myself. 1946 is when the musical came out. And 1954 to 56 is when the TV show was on. I think it was three seasons. This is pretty neat that they've laid this wreath out here for her on the eve of the Annie Oakley Festival. So now let's get to the point about the Annie Oakley Festival. I have not been to the Annie Oakley Festival probably in 10 years, obviously because the Garst Museum was closer and I actually think it's a little bit better. But they do hold shooting contests for uh, Little Miss Annie Oakley every year. And somebody else is pulling up so we're gonna leave if they do other things it's more like a bazaar it's like your typical little festival it's pretty it's pretty neat but maybe we'll run up this year because it's not far from where this is at and we'll check it out so the festival started looks like in 1963 to honor green dark county's most beloved daughter as it said little miss sure shot annie oakley um where it stayed at the Garst Museum, which we need to check out someday because I hear it's pretty cool and I still haven't been there, um, until 1997, which, because it was getting so huge between that, I mean, there's a parade, a huge parade. Um, people come in from all over. They, they figured that the parking would be better, so let's move it to the fairgrounds, you know. But the fairgrounds is not free, so we, they had to start charging and the next thing you know the tenants probably start dropping so it stayed there until 2014 and then it moved to the york um what the heck is it called york something where the steam threshers are at just north of greenville here about i don't know three or four or five miles so if you ever in the last weekend of july in the dark county area ohio check out the Annie Oakley Festival. It is what everybody does. Well, except for me, you know, since I said I probably haven't been there. It hasn't been 10 years. It's probably been like five years since I've been there. And it was still at the fairgrounds at the time. But our friend, Katie, who works at the Asian Buffet, is 2016's Annie Oakley. So, I think I've said that before. She is our who me and Abby know as our our celebrity because she is Annie Oakley 2016 um, maybe we'll, we'll show her maybe we can get some interview with her someday probably not 
about any of herself and what it was like to be Annie Oakley for a year because she won the sharpshooting contest which I, I'm not sure what else they have to do to become it I don't I mean I'm sure that's I know that's a big part of it I don't know if that's the only part of it but that's definitely a pretty cool thing to be in this area there's actually where the festival is held at nowadays it's like a lot of campers more than anything we're gonna come back up here and check it out York Woods is what it's called north of Greenville on 127 so, so that'll about do it for today it's raining it's one of the reasons I had to head out so early um, we will definitely have more on these two festivals this weekend uh, if you enjoyed it my video here of Annie Ugly if you would like to come visit it it's up 127 north of Greenville I don't know about five miles ish <laughs> we'll see you there so if you like this video and would like to see more things like this I know we don't do a whole lot of adventures like I had planned, but if you like this and you want us to get out and do more adventures, give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe, give us a share, give it whatever you want to do, and we'll, we'll definitely get to some more stuff like this. So until tomorrow, peace, love, and sharpshooting.